Okay, it's another beautiful Thursday, and I'm here, as usual, to um, discuss one or two things that pertain to life and um, general social issues with us. If anybody's live, I'd like you to come on board. Hey, where are you? Where's everyone? Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you're watching me from today, this beautiful Thursday, 20th of May, 2021. Okay, so um, it's another Thursday to go live and discuss um, on issues bordering on life generally. And today we will be talking about a topic that is as important as life itself. <laughs> emotional wellness, mental health, and um, all there is to know about mental health as it pertains to our personalities, who we are, our identity. Okay, so if you're online, I'd like you to join me today. Say hi when you come online, or when you see this chat, say hi, say hello, drop an emoji, drop, you know, a comment. When you see this live, please do say hi. Let me know I'm not alone. I know one or two people are watching right now. Do say hi in the comments box. Let me know that you're here with me. Yeah. I'm happy to be here again. Thank God for life and for the opportunity to be able to do this. As you know, in a short while, I'm going to be bringing on my guests for today. She's an emotional wellness coach, and then um, she'll be dishing out on all that we need to know um, about our identity and mental awareness. Uh, Okay, let's continue from where we left off. Okay, so it's a beautiful Thursday. Um, it's a beautiful Thursday afternoon here in Lagos, Nigeria. I'm very well. Thank you. That's my cousin, Bros Kingsley. Good to see you. How are you and how is the family? Okay, so it's a beautiful Thursday here in Lagos, Nigeria. And um, as it is for me, um, for some time now, in fact, today is the sixth week running that um i've had to host this show on facebook live um it's such a beautiful day <laughs> um looks like it's gonna rain but beautiful weather it is out there okay and um i'm so glad to have to do this today and like i said i said earlier i'll be discussing on the identity crisis knowing yourself to be able to tell when to pull a stop, to know when you're pushing your mental health, when you're pushing it. Because sometimes we do not really know when we're going overboard. But a good knowledge of yourself will be able to tell you, oh, I've done so much in this regard. I need to pay some attention to myself. Okay, so um, th that's what we're going to be discussing today, the identity crisis. Hi, my, that's a friend from Kay. 
Oh, good to see you, um, Honorable Nyambo. I hope I got that correctly. Please let me know if I did. <laughs> if I didn't, please do let me know so I can uh, learn to call the name correctly. Okay, good to see you. Thank you for joining in on my live today. Okay, so we're talking about mental health. Um, um, that's um, dealing with um, your wellness as a whole. Okay, so it's a lot of times we take out time, we feel some symptoms in our bodies, and then we know that it's time to see the doctor. At other times, a little headache here and there, we run to the pharmacist or to the doctor, as the case may be, to treat um, a particular health issue. But when it comes, thank you, but when it comes to our mental health, a lot of times we leave things to chance until it becomes too late. And then sometimes I have come to realize that when it comes to dealing with personality, um, what we call the personality order or personality disorder, as it were, a lot of people do not know their limits. They don't know themselves. If you do know, have a good um, knowledge of yourself, your identity, you'll be able to know um, when it is time to put a stop to a certain thing you're doing. The fact that Mr. A is doing it does not mean that you'll be able to do it effectively and not have an issue. Okay, so um, I'd like us to hang in there. In a few minutes, we'll be having our guests joining on the show and she'll be teaching our, or educating us rather. Today, it's more like educating. She's going to be educating us on all we need to know about our identity, our personality, and how it relates to our mental health and our wellness. Okay, she, like I said, she's a wellness, um, a wellness, emotional wellness coach. Okay, so as you handle your physical health, also consider your emotions so that you know when it's time to put a stop, when you've done too much, when you've gone too far, when it's okay to continue to give of yourself in a given situation, or when it's time to say, okay, so I've, I think I've done enough. It's time to um, actually put a stop and then introspect and take care of myself. Because, you know, like they say, you cannot give what you don't have. If you're not okay emotionally, you cannot give of yourself emotionally too, okay? If you're not okay emotionally, you cannot share with others, you know, how the way they would like to um, be treated emotionally as well. Somebody who is emotionally bankrupt cannot give, cannot actually help somebody else who is in the same situation. Um, I'm not here to give us all the details. Our guest is in the building, so to speak, <laughs> and then she'll be coming up shortly. And I trust her to be able to do justice to this topic. In fact, when I looked at the topic, I was like, I hope I'm not, this is not an uphill task, but I know she's happy to deal with it because I, it's, it's like, it's dealing, on a, dealing with a whole lot of things. We're talking about identity here. We're talking about emotional wellness or mental health. On the other hand, where do they meet? As in, how do they interact? How do both interact? And um, how do they help to shape the total person? Okay, so um, because this month, um, to the best of my knowledge, is Mental Health Awareness Month, and when she comes on, she's going to tell us, because I think there are a couple of programs mapped out for this week um, that, um, sh that deals with all that there is about emotional well-being and our mental health. So she's going to be talking about all that. Just hang in there. If you're here um, on the show, I'd like you to leave a comment in the comment box and um, so I can know that you're here with me. Um, I usually try to do a recap of the things we've talked about. Today is the sixth week running that we started this show and that we've been able to um, maintain it as it were. In the first week, it was more like, okay, let's go out there because a lot of things had been said about the issue of virginity. And like we always say, or like we said on that show, virginity is not just for the females. If it is good enough for the females to keep themselves, you know, for Mr. Wright, it is also good enough for the males to keep themselves for Mrs. Wright. Okay. 
So Mrs. Funke Aluko dealt with that issue, virginity overrated, just trying to, you know, educate us on what the importance of virginity is in our, um, in our society today, what the importance is. Is it important to still be talking about virginity today? When people are talking cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, they're talking virginity. What relevance is it to today's, <laughs> to how we make money or how the politics of, of the nations of the world thrive and all that? You know, it seems like an unimportant discussion. But when we dealt with it, it was a very heated one and educative as well. So I'd like you to look for that video on my Facebook Live and um, take time to go through it and hear the things that we discussed. In the second week, we had um, Pastor Praise Imo Oji. He came to talk to us about church business. And then the question we posed to him that day was, why do we need more churches? We have so many churches. I'm sure as it is in Nigeria, it is in Kenya, it is in Rwanda, it is all over the nations of the world. Churches spring up every other day. And then you ask yourself, what is going on? You know, but Pastor Praise Imo Oji made it clear that as much as we have restaurants springing up every day to feed um the physical beings so we also need more churches because you know like the scriptures say as iniquity abounds uh you know time goes on the love of many will wax cold so obviously it looks like we need more churches um more people to reach out to the unreached more people to reach out to those who have been reached but then are finding it difficult to keep up the pace because of some certain things that have happened in life okay and then in the third week, we had Mrs. S, Mrs. Essay Ayebene. She talked with us about communication as an important factor in a relationship. We made it clear, or she made it clear rather, in that discussion that communication held a very important place in every relationship. And ignoring it could be a big risk for a relationship that wants to thrive. Okay. In the fourth week, we had Mrs. Z O B, who discussed multi-talented kids with us. You know, we have a lot of our kids in our homes who have exhibited different kinds of talent, which he called potentials that need to be tapped and honed into skills. Okay, so um, she dealt with that topic. Please look for these videos in my Facebook um, page, in my Facebook personal page. We're going to upload most of them to my to my Facebook page, Peace Talks, or as, as soon as possible, we're going to change that um, Facebook page to read Talk with Peace, so that when you look for Talk with Peace, you'll find a page that has all the videos of the things we've done in the past um, five weeks, six weeks today, okay? And then last week, we had Ike Michael in the building, and he discussed with us about how you can please God and also, you know, run your um, talent as your profession, as an entertainer. Okay, so um, it's time. We're bringing on our guest for today, Mrs. Oluronke Akile Aki. Oh, Lord, help me. <laughs> Oluwalere. <laughs> oh, God, she's going to, she's going to, please don't kill me. She's coming in now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm adding Hello. you to the live. <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. Good Yay. afternoon from here. Good to see you, ma'am. <laughs> thank you. Thank Good you. Thank you, you so much for having me. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Then, thank you. You're you welcome. got your name correctly. <laughs> I got to Luwalere. Is the Akin part yeah. that I, I skipped because I wasn't sure what at the end of the Akin. Yeah, so, so Luwalere is just fine. <laughs> it's actually okay. Akin. My maiden name is Akin. Akin. Yes. Oh, okay. my son and my husband's name is Luwalere. So Oluwonke Oluwalere okay. is just so fine. I'm good yeah. to go, right? Yes, you are. You are. Okay, you are. cool. <laughs> good to have you. Thank, Thank you so much you. for agreeing to come on this um show Thank this Thank beautiful you for day. Me. And, you know, when I asked you and you told me that it's actually Mental uh, Health Awareness Month and that there were some programs lined up for the week, I was like, mm -hmm. so maybe I should actually be a prophet. How did I know that there was going to be <laughs> something linked with what I wanted us to discuss, okay, for the week? And thank you for um, agreeing to come, like I said earlier, and share from your wealth of knowledge. You've been 
on this process for a, a while now. I, I know, we've known for a couple of years now, and then I know that you've been on this process, you know, where you try to help people deal with their emotional well-being and then um, help keep them on track emotionally, mentally, and yeah. otherwise. Of course, we know that it's a total package. We, we, the, if, if the mental health is not in place, if the physical part will soon follow suit, okay? I'm not, I'm not um, trying to lecture us. I'm just trying to do more like an introduction and then I'll leave you to do your thing. Okay, so let's start with, when we decided to discuss who am I? Oh, sorry, let's introduce. I'd like you to read your resume. Tell our people who you are, the things you've done, your every, every achievement that at least the ones we can pick. I know we can't talk about them all today. Okay, okay, so let the audience know your picture. Okay, do you want me to read the bio or? Okay, fine. Fine, fine. Okay, That's let me cool. just talk about myself, basically. Since right. well, it's a, it's, it's, a, and it's a very, very, you know, it's a very great privilege to be here. Thank you for having me, and I must You're say welcome. that you are doing a good job. Thank, Thank you, and you. welcome to all you Thank do. You. Thank My name you, is Murum Keolua Lyric, like you already know. And it's a privilege to be doing this as well because this week is also International Coaching Week for this year. Okay. Okay, so it started since okay. 17th of May. It's going to run through 23rd of May. And, you okay. know, this, this month, you know, like you already mentioned, is like a mental health awareness month. So, so you're very much on track, I must say. And what I do is I'm an emotional wellness coach. Okay, that's okay. my niche. And I'm also a certified neuro-linguistic programmer, amongst okay. others. I'm also a family we, system. We need to explain that for some of yeah. us that understand neuro, we understand linguistic, but to link <laughs> them together now. <laughs> yes, I'm a neuro-linguistic practitioner. It means okay. that I, I work with you to... Let me. I'm trying to. I'm trying to simplify the terms now. Okay. One, when you say language neuro, of your mind, has to do with your brain, neuro, everything yeah. that has to do with your your mind. Okay. And yeah. then, so I help to bring about peace in that aspect yeah. of your life, especially okay. when it comes to you know maybe therapies and so many other things that that you know ranges from. It could be belief changes. It could be different, you know, therapies and all of that that we do just to make you okay, all right? And so okay. that's what we say in my practice, that it is okay not to be okay. So the point when you yeah. know that it is, that you're not okay, okay? At that point, that point of awareness of where you are, that's where you, that's where I can say that that's about 50% already done. Okay, in okay. your step to be you know, okay. So, like I said, I'm also a family life practitioner. Okay, okay. And meaning that I work with families. I work with male, female. I work with any member of the family, basically. All right. Okay. Maybe, maybe through group coaching, group therapy sessions, or maybe okay. individuals. I work with families to birth their dreams, to make sure that their goals, you know, as a family is, you know, just smashed basically so it's not mm -hmm. enough for you to set goals it's enough as a, so that you'll be able to find your place find your place as an individual first find mm -hmm. your level in your find your the level at which you are in your mental health and in your okay. emotional wellness so basically that's what i do so let me not bore you with the bio i and mean all those stuff. Ah, amazing <laughs> what i, mean, I do that... just to make you you know come to a place of healing from where okay. you are now to where you okay. ought to be. So healing could be either physical, could be, you know, spiritual, could be, you know, mentally, could be maritally, could be finances and all of that. But I major in your, as in just to help your emotional wellness. Like you mentioned earlier, once you get that right, that aspect of your life right, every other thing will fall into place. So amazing. <laughs> in a nutshell. Okay, yes. um, friend, that's uh, Mrs. Uluronke Ulua Leri, emotional wellness coach. Already, there's um, there's you have fans because there's um, a comment in the in the comment box that says 
Yeah, Ron K is a great coach. So oh, obviously, you. <laughs> you've been able to you've been able to um, help a, a couple of people. You know, I'm sure everyone who knows you can't be on this live at this time, but at yeah. some point, they, yeah. people yeah. get more that's people. Get to that's, my, that's my finance coach. Like we say, okay, amazing. Thank you, me, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So um, when I I thought about the topic. The identity crisis. I actually wanted you to just come talk about mental health. But I know that there are so many aspects to mental health. You and then if we decide to talk about mental health only and emotional wellness, it's it's just going to be holistic and not deal with him. Um, I wanted us to be specific. Uh, okay. okay, so I decided. Okay, let's look at it from the aspect of um, the identity crisis. And for me, what I had in mind, I don't know what you prepared, is to understand one's personality. Who am I? And how does my personality relate to um, my mental health? How does it relate to how I manage my emotions? How does it relate to how I relate with other people in a way that my mental health is still okay and not, you know, at you know, don't put it at risk. Okay, so I'd like us to I'd like us to start from the point where we understand the importance of these two topics, huge topics as they were, because personality topic is another very broad topic. That if you decided, if we decided to get into, it, it would take a long, a long time. So where do this meet in a in a nutshell, in shortest possible okay. time? Okay, so marrying who you are—that's finding your identity. I like yeah. to title this. Let me say, finding you. Okay, and okay. When we say finding you or knowing who you are, it has okay. a whole lot to do with your mental health. Okay, so right. but, you know, we can't talk about mental health without talk about without talking about having your identity in place, and you know okay. what identity is. I, I like to see yeah. identity as a, like a like a marriage of all your belief systems, your value, and what you stand yeah. for. Okay, everything mm -hmm. is like a developmental process. Your identity okay. is not just built in one day. Are you getting right? Me? So, identity mm -hmm. has everything to do with all the events that happened probably to you in the past all the events that are happening right now and all those things coming together you know to form a a deep sense of self okay. of, or your place in the world that's what your identity is so i decided to define it that way so that is Okay. Is inclusive of everything that we go through because the truth, the truth of the matter is that we evolve. Okay, and so for right. people who may be having one or two issues, probably with their identity, and they they wonder what happened today, they are they seem like okay, they are on this so 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 path. Tomorrow they seem like on that that whole path that you know that new journey. Identity itself is a life journey. All right. right. At times, you right. know, once you get to, it's just like saying that you get there, and when you get to that place called there, there's still a place mm -hmm. called there. From that there, right. there's still a there. There's still a there. So it's like a developmental just event going. that involves mm -hmm. involves your person, involves everything mm -hmm. about okay. your sense of self. Okay. And so okay. your identity yeah. is something that shifts and changes. It just shifts changes throughout life you know as you face new challenges you face new you even grow as you even age and you even tackle right. different experiences your identity when you were probably a three-year-old is not who you are now even though True. the truth of the matter is you are still peace right but mm -hmm. there are so many things that make you up that people may not okay. even know behind the scenes that you are you are one million and one times more than what we see on the surface and that's why right. I tell people, you have to be you. Finding you is a continuous process. Nobody, nobody gets to a place where they say, oh, I have a right. So that point of you knowing that, oh, you can be your best self, you can have, you can find your place in the world, that's where you talk about your identity. And so when you find okay. that synergy between your, your sense of self, all right, and when you, yeah. when you find your place in the world as it is, even though you tackle other stuff, but you still are able to hold your own in this right. world. That's when we mm -hmm. say that you know the true worth of yourself. That's when we right. say that you have an identity. 
even though you may identify with so many things, but you, you, you are able to stand your ground. You are able to hold one sense of self. You are able to know what you want in this world. That's what you, right. that's when you know that you have. But when you begin to have maybe one or two issues around doubting yourself, you know, you're not just sure of where you are anymore. Then that crisis part comes up. And that's where you may want to, you know, be a bit more careful about your mental health. You see where mm -hmm. they come together now. Okay. Yeah. When you begin to doubt or when you begin to have one or two, you know, changes in life and you wonder whether you're you're not so good anymore or whether you, right. you're even still the same person that you are. At that point, you may want to talk to someone. You may want to maybe maybe share your, your problems or share your concerns. All right, because right. we won't go mm -hmm. to tell me the problem. Some of these things are just mere developmental changes. Some of them, right. as they as you grow, you find out that you have evolved and then you, you are able to thrive. So I, I hope that answers that. Yeah, That's it does. Mental health and your yeah. identity. Thank you so much. Okay, um, you've actually, you know, been able to grow through the topic, you know, and then a couple of things have sprung up from the definitions, so, as it were, that you gave. Okay, so um, you, there was something you touched on that I'd like us to talk more about. Like, um, I, I know that when I was much younger, I would have been termed a very quiet person because I did not used to talk, <laughs> you know, you know, but growing older, even all through, you know, like primary, secondary school, I just knew that I love to read, but the talking part was not so much, you know, obvious. Okay, so um, when you now get to a point, like, let me use me as an example, you get to a point where you discover, oh, I can actually talk. And then um, some people who used to know you before now begin to look at you as, what has happened to her? <laughs> okay, okay. And then you get to a point where the things you desired, or the, like you mentioned when you were talking earlier, the things you wanted to do when you were much younger are no longer the things you want to do now. And then, you know, there's this crisis where you're trying to okay, decide, okay, this is what I thought my abilities, my natural abilities were, and this is where I thought I'll be able to function. But right now it's changing. I'm trying to, you know, you talk, you touched on it, and then you're, you're disturbed, a whole lot of disturbance. And then um, if you had to take it into the fact that you now get married and you still discover that you're still evolving and then it begins to give problems in the in the home because, OK, this is who you presented that you 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 were and this is who you are suddenly becoming. Is it that you're swayed like you use the word swayed by the things you see or are they just some things that were innate that are now beginning to show up? And then how do you decide, OK, at this point? I've come to the point where this is who I think I am. Because this thing I'm just talking about now, sometimes it's a whole lot of headache. You worry, and then in this part of the world, you are your own psychologist. You are your own coach because you don't know who to talk to. <laughs> like when I discussed with Mrs. Essay, we talked a little, she's a counseling psychologist. We discussed a little about the importance of talking to a therapist. Around here, we still don't do professional therapy what we do is my pastor's wife whether she understands what i'm going through or not and then um, in respect to them actually because they are spiritual leaders and then some people think my neighbor my mom they will just understand at what at what point do i feel that i need to step out and talk to somebody professionally and not just take um what we used to call mother old wife's tales you know from people ah it happened to me i don't worry you will soon come out of it and then you <laughs> at some point do you need somebody to actually direct you help you understand oh this is where you're coming from but this is who you know at least when you talk about this also talk about include the fact that some people need to take personality tests to understand you know to help with what we're talking about thank All you right. thank you for that um angle and All right. um, I would like to start with the issue of personality, okay? okay. And yeah. when you talk about your personality, most times, because people think that, you know, because so many people grew up with so many theories about personality yeah. types, and then probably mm -hmm. the things that you may have read or you may have heard when you were, when you were growing up, you know, stuck yeah. with you, and then probably somebody tagged you, you know, that you were phlegmatic, 
or something. Yeah, introvert. You know, we all know that theory about whether you are introvert or. And then you now find out that you've been living, you know, in that bubble of being introverted for so mm. long. And then yeah. when you know, at the point when there's a switch, you're wondering whether you even know yourself anymore. At you know, all, at yeah. that point where you are aware, I say this every time, the point of self-awareness is when you need to start talking. Once you're aware of who you are at that time, once you're aware of the point where that switch happened, mm. you would need to take stock. Because most times in this part of the world, like you said, most people don't appreciate, you know, professional, you know, help, professional coaching or therapy, but we all need it. And it's very obvious right. now that we have come to mm -hmm. that point in life where, and people should not get to a point where, you know, where you have issues or where you are confused before you think that you need a therapist. No, okay. you may just book a session, for instance, okay? I am one, I am a, I am a coach okay. and I'm certified and I'm a professional. You can reach out, okay? If what you want is not within my reach, we can also refer you. I work with a team of, you know, professionals that can also okay. help. So people can get to that point where, where you don't, you, it's just like you, seeing your doctor just because you think that you're sick alone no we have to yeah. get to that point where we know that medical checkup is a given uh, like there's not even you you should not even be compromising that it's not until you get sick that you should see mm -hmm. a doctor so that's how when you're doing your you know when you're taking your life seriously when you're when you go to a coach when you see a therapist that's how serious you should take it all right. So I right. think that at the point where you're wondering, where you're even a bit confused, when you need clarity, you need to see a coach. Right. All right. So it may just be yeah. a, it may just be a 20 minute clarity session or a one hour clarity session and you're just fine. And then and oh. that's just it. So but people wait until probably they have to they have to think that, oh, let me just talk to my pastor. If talking to your pastor mm. is good. If your pastor is sound in that area all right but the point yeah. is that your pastor also now pastors know not to you know double into areas where Maybe. they may not mm. you know have full expertise are you getting right you know, pastors yeah. now have coaches pastors are even now certified or professional coaches so that's the world right. we're living in now so so that they will be able to mm -hmm. help people more so that it's not just when people bring spiritual matters or seemingly religious issues that they will be able to help so you find out that pastors are getting certified you know to be to be life coaches just so that they'll yeah. be able to bring more help in that aspect okay. of people's life so at that point when you're so that's just to answer your question about at what yeah. point should we you know seek help at the point when you think oh do i need help do i not need help when you're even mm. down that's the point you should seek out you know a coach for clarity all right you don't necessarily okay. have to say you're seeking a coach maybe to check your to diagnose you of something you don't have or something you have do you understand so and then talking about personality you know you touched on it and we find out that in my in my practice as a family you know life family life uh professional we have and thankfully i belong to a, a network of professionals in that in that field where we use what we call or yellow that too okay as 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 you know simple as it sounds is a is a personality tool that we use at the at the institute of family and engineering institute of family engineering and development okay that's we okay. call it ifed yeah. and then for people who really you know may, may want to maybe people who may just want to assess that okay if you know press forward if you know his network you know what i'm talking about you know the team of professionals i'm talking about that's that's mm -hmm. that's a coach of mine I'm, I'm my mentor okay and so i need when we do family when we when we use that personality tool for you at the yeah. at, as a family life professional okay it helps you to see things clearly all right because we represent your personality types with car models at first. Right. So we have a, and then, for example, when we say that you are an intimidating homer, for instance, you all know what okay. homer, what a homer mm -hmm. jeep, you know, 
stands for. Mm -hmm. So when they say somebody is an intimidating Oma, okay, as a personality, everything that you think an Oma is, and then we have the creative convertible, we have the dependable, you know, Ford, oh, wow. and we have the systematic. Okay. Do you understand? So at the end of mm -hmm. the day, at the end of the day, when you depict your your personality types this way, it's easy for you to relate to. Okay, we all know what dependable truck is and the systematic mm -hmm. fault. Dependable truck, somebody probably that has that you know carries the if if you see the truck that, no. that will be that personality by you would you, yeah. you see someone who probably carries the weight of all the family members on his or her shoulders mm. and then just finds joy in doing that. Okay, so finding mm. you may find out that maybe over time, like you said, because you have grown from probably being an introverted person, the yeah. goal of your personal of of having your personality type checked properly checked if you have not done a personality type you can book a session with us to have you you know in shape in that line mm -hmm. but so the goal of having your personality checked having to know who you are is not to you know label you as what right. you are is to okay. help you have so you find out that you you may grow to a point where you have picked something from the you know creative convertible Something yeah. from the immediate armor, something from the systematic fault, something from the dependable truck. And then you have a fine blend of all of okay. these personalities, all right? Okay. In in yeah. maybe in regular terms, you may say maybe the person is a sanguine, person is a choleric, is a phlegm, and is a you know, melancholy. Do you understand? Yeah. And so when mm -hmm. you pick a fine blend, when you are a fine blend of all of these four. You will wonder whether you are even here because you may not fully fit in here in A or B or C or D. Right, but right. What has happened in that regard is that you have evolved, you have grown. It doesn't make you a confused mm, right. right? It's just that you have been able to, you know, because you have right. been able to, you, you, life has happened. You have been able to tackle issues here, issues there. You have your emotional intelligence in place. And so when you are able to mm. manage your emotions and you're able to control it you know we're going back to where we started from when you have yeah. that ability to have all of this in sync then you know that your mental health is in place and so once all that part mm -hmm. is balanced out then what are we mm -hmm. talking about you'll be able to function here and then there so you won't so if you actually are in that space where you're wondering, yeah. am I actually in this place? Am I actually, do I actually fit in here? You may just want to, you know, see a coach to have um, some of these things clarified for you. A personality assessment may be done for you, which I strongly yeah. recommend. And then some other, among some other therapies and, and you know, um, interventions that may be done, you know, for you, I, I'm sure that you will be fine. So I, I, I think that has, answers that, is that? It does, it does, it does so well. Okay, so um, wh when you were talking, I, I quickly remember that when I was younger, I read a book um, by Tim Lahaye, Dr. Tim Lahaye, it was a temperament book. Because those days we used to think, oh, we know when we see cholerics, we know them. When we see phlegmatics, we know them. When we see melancholy and stuff, you know. And then you find, when I read that book, I discovered that um, there's a little bit. Okay, okay, I think that was the, my introduction to temperaments. The, that book, I think there was the Holy Spirit control temperaments, the four types of temperament and and all that. Okay, and then you know those temperaments have their their secondaries and their let's not go into temperament because that's why I said they are all topics that if we decide to delve into would take a whole day. Okay, so what I'm trying to bring out is you said something about you knowing that you could have a little bit of this other type um car type um personalities that you listed okay so it, it made me remember that there was a certain book of his that i read or something about when i think when we did um when we did ministry school i can't remember i think it was when we yeah. did ministry school we did something about temperaments and personality okay yeah. so at, at that time i got to realize that you could have a little bit of all the four basic temperaments in you each one shows up at different times, you know? And then the fact that um, you acted, you know, like a choleric today does not make you a choleric. You have your primary, you have the secondary ones, they all show up at different times. 
Okay, so now we're, we're discussing this and then we're going to try to link it. We've done a, a lot of that, you know, since this discussion. But I want us to bring it home finally to mental health and emotional wellness in the sense that, okay, sometimes you see people get distracted. We've talked about these things over and over again in the course of this discussion. We see people get distracted by, okay, I'm, I'm, I know that my personality type is this but I'm looking at somebody else and I'm admiring their personality type, so to speak, or I'm admiring the things they've been able to do with their lives and I'm getting worried. I, 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 how do I stay at peace with knowing that, I know that in our church last year was, was it last year that was um, the year of rest? In fact, that was a major, <laughs> a major, um, a major period season in everyone's life. Because we didn't know that there was going to be something like a pandemic. I know when I was born a couple of years ago, I had never heard of a pandemic as at then. I knew now I know that there was one in time, but I had never heard of one as at then. And we did not know that things were going to change. And so whether you are choleric or phlegmatic or melancholic or sanguine, you now discover that we all were kept in a place where a lot of things about us started to become displayed. Yeah, when you go on social media at that time, you hear husbands and wives, you know, you hear people come to say, I don't think I can stay in the house. I need to get out. And, have, and there were people that loved the pandemic because it gave them time to be able to stay back at home, stay at rest, do a whole lot of, but there were people that did not want it at all. They want to get out because that is their life. They are used to getting out. And so a lot of people were getting affected mentally because they were dealing with something that they were not used to, okay? So um, when you sit down and you compare, so to speak, because it happens a lot, even though we know it is wrong to compare, when you compare the next person's life against yours, and you begin to think, oh, this person is doing better than I am. How can I be this person? I, I'm, I'm trying, really trying to decide how I want to ask this question so that it doesn't, there was something you said about tag. It, that got to me a lot. Because, you know, sometimes when you now go, and do personality tests sometimes online, or you go and do um, temperament tests online, temperament, personality, you now say, oh, this is who I am now. And then one day you step out, out of that person, you discover that you do something outside, and then you begin to get worried that uh, is something wrong with me, you know? Okay, so how do I trade? Let me now take it, um, let me put it this way. How do I move forward? How do I trade? How does this help determine the kind of the type of um, family like family that I have. How does it determine the kind of um, relationships that I keep? How does it help me with um, even with my children? You know, so that I can maintain. Uh, I, I'm I'm trying to. I don't know. I'm trying okay. to. Um, I'm trying to hold. Like, I do not want to say a whole lot of things. You know, so how lot. does this help me with my relationship? and then maintain my, ment my mental health at the same time. I use the pandemic as an example, and I'd like you to look at it from that angle, where people who usually woke up in the morning, one person runs out, we've not actually had time to understand and know ourselves and live for a, a long period of time at the same time at once. Yeah. Okay, finally, we're thrown in a place where we wake up in the morning, you don't have anywhere to go, you don't have to go because there's no movement. You know, and then you're looking at me and I'm and you're like, is this the kind of person that you actually you know a whole lot of things begin to come to play? One, how do I how do I move on from now that I've understood myself to helping relate with other people who do not know this me, uh, you know, and me trying to understand who they are. That is one. And then on the other hand, how does it help me not to compare myself with the things I'm seeing happening out there, even though they are not happening for me? Yeah. I don't know if I believe. I, I, I get <laughs> it. Okay, like I was okay. taking notes from here as well on okay. All different right. issues that you're, you're trying to touch on. And, you know, when you begin okay. to talk about issues about identity in relation yeah. to your mental health, it's just a whole lot. And the truth is that when we begin to shy away from that part and just, you know, well, there's you know there's this balance in the you know in the world not even not even amongst christians anymore now when you begin to think about a and b and you cannot mm -hmm. seem to find clarity you just end the statement with it it is well okay and so when you okay. say it is well now you you know that even deep down is not well 
okay but the point, is that, <laughs> the point is that we need to get out of that bubble or you know of telling ourselves that you know um maybe we do not need help maybe we don't need help the point where you're, mm. you're trying to describe an area where we can safely call identity crisis okay mm -hmm. where people begin to question their sense of self in this world mm. okay, where people begin mm. to question whether they, there's even more or whether they even and when they even have you know more awesome ideas and it's not coming into fruition that that's a point mm. where that crisis takes place all right and then mm. you want to balance it vis-a-vis -vis how your mind reacts to that okay if you cannot right. find that you know there are some things that we we've learned over time because most times we've learned to do it ourselves we've learned to you know do some of these things even god gave us that you know well of wisdom and gave us right. therapies gave us coaches in this world to be able to okay. help solve some things because the, i believe strongly that god has given us the same way we don't know everything okay nobody True. knows everything and we all right. try to you know seek knowledge and then try and be better but when you begin to question your sense of self in the world okay it's good to affirm right okay say what you want to see just just even as the bible right. says okay that you have to say i'm aware that some some people may not be christians here even i know that True. even in the quran or whatever holy books that they have they, there's a place of affirmation okay in what you yeah. do in what you believe in but when you begin to question your beliefs your values your 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 sense of self even in this world then it means that there's a crisis and some of these crises you know happens to people even right from from childhood you may start wondering why a child is you know wondering you know today they want to be footballers tomorrow they want to be mm. doctors tomorrow they want to be mm. lawyers it's very okay. Mm -hmm. It shows that their, you know, their brains are functioning properly. All right. So that means right. you must never criticize anyone, you know, trying to, you know, try out this one, try out this one, try out this one. And mm -hmm. it seems like the person is doing too much. All right. No, you, okay. once it's not your journey, just leave the person until the person, when, is the, when the person finds the journey, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a creative part of us because we are creators. That's who yeah. we are created to be. There's that part of us that wants to try this, try that, try this, try that. Even just in representing who we are, representing who God has made us to be. But but when it comes to a place where you sink, you know, into the negative aspect of finding your creative path, okay, mm -hmm. that's when you may need to check it. All right, when you begin to sink, mm -hmm. probably into a point where you're depressed, maybe mm -hmm. because some maybe some and you know i'm careful about you know i hear people you know using the word depression depression you know losing yeah. like that is not is not a, a, not a very light issue that should just be mm. it's not because you are just sad normally when you're sad it's normal to be sad okay i tell yeah. my children the same mommy and but i say enjoy it bottom is part of life <laughs> okay? because the truth of the matter is what you do with that point where you're bored okay is that creative mm. part of you that should that that should find expression maybe you may find out that mm. when you're bored and you're thinking you're bored out of your mind and you're thinking what should you do what else do you want to do you've tried this you've tried that you're trying is also a part of life and then in that state yeah. of trying to see what you need to do then you will find aha moments will come out and, that, and you'll mm. find out that you can even do so much more than what you do i'm not i'm not saying that you should now be all over the place doing everything and anything okay without you know standing for something mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. there is still much more that you can do mm -hmm. so if you find joy right. and fulfillment in doing make sure that at the base of all that you do there is this quest for you know true humanity at the base of all that you do if it's not laced with love love for humanity love yeah. for if, if it doesn't have a greater you know sense of fulfillment towards helping other people mm -hmm. yeah okay then okay. you should check it 
Yeah. That's also an aspect where, where your mental health may take a hit for you. If everything you do, you know, you just think that, oh, you're self-made, you're, you're just made, made, made by yourself. You don't even think that all the teachers that brought you up, all the books you read, all the, you know, TV shows, you, even the cartoons or even the comedies that you have, you know, you don't even mm. think that all of these have, you know, culminated into That's bursting who you mm. are. Then you may need to also yeah. have your mental health checked. Well, when you sink into that, uh, when you're vulnerable, it's, it's okay to be vulnerable and when you feel that oh you really do not you are in a place where you're you seem not to be clear when we've talked mm. about seeing a coach you know talking to a therapist seeing someone who can help you professionally not just someone that will give you advices because the truth is advices okay uh, you you don't you you people have different maps of the world okay and okay. it means that yeah. the way you see life Okay, it's not yeah. the same way I will see life. The way you mm -hmm. will tackle issues is not the same way I will tackle issues from this side of my, from this part of heaven right. that I am. Are you getting mm -hmm. me? So when you're express, yeah. expressing some symptoms such as, you know, maybe you have low mood, you just maybe, you know, unexpectedly lose interest in things that you mm -hmm. usually like. You, you experience, you know, serious fatigue. You, you are just irritable at everything and anything then you should talk to your doctor or your mental health professional all right and so when you yeah. when you get to that point where some of the things that you know get you you know hard top is not even you know making sense anymore you may want to see a coach to find clarity yeah. And you know, as per what and what you should be doing in your next level and you may also want to ask yourself you know some very deep questions all right very deep, deep questions like what are my passions what are, what are what are the things that i like to do uh, what are the things that make me happy if you cannot answer yeah. those questions what am i passionate about what what are my spiritual beliefs you may want to check it mm -hmm. and check it and check it we're not talking religion here when we're talking spirituality all right your, yeah. your spirituality has a lot to do with your mind soul and body connection even with, with yeah. your makeup with god all right so what yeah. are your spiritual yeah. beliefs the things the limiting beliefs that have limited you over time have, have you been mm -hmm. on that you know table where people just say that oh in this school of thought nothing just moves you know and then yeah. just because you are in one denomination you may you cannot you cannot marry outside this place or you cannot travel here to go and make it do you understand what i'm saying are you mm -hmm. on that table where different beliefs have limited you some of us as little as it seems you imagine just on a lighter more you remember when we were much younger when when I don't know if it happened to you, but you know, it happened to me when you are much younger, just because our parents wanted us to finish, you know, our food, they would tell us not to eat our protein until we mm -hmm. finish our food and Change. then we eat it last. Mm -hmm. Now that yeah. you're even an adult, they are the one cooking the proteins, they are the one eating the mm -hmm. you still find out that some people will still eat their protein last. Mm -hmm. Imagine all mm. those conditioning. You wonder why you mm -hmm. start with your head first when you are basing, all right? Mm -hmm. And so it's part of one of the things that we do when we're, especially when we're trying to do belief change and all of that therapy. Okay, mm -hmm. why why is it that you start basing your head first? Why can't you start from your hand? Why can't you start from your leg? All of these beliefs are, you know, are just so strong in some people's hearts, and then they find out if you are not careful, you know, it will hinder you in what and what yeah. you need to do and so that's those are reasons why you may need to you know see your coach and then if you question your values you may need to ask that question what are your values maybe they've changed over time you're not even mm. sure and who gave you those values where did you where did those those values where where did they come okay. from did they come from mm. probably your your spiritual work with god did they come from probably your parents who passed down some values to you or, or experiences? Mm. We call them significant emotional experiences. Have you, you know, seen life in a way where you have you have seen things and then you you've imbibed mm. one or two values from that? And then what is your role in society? What is your purpose in this life? If you cannot seriously mm. answer all these questions, then you may be, you know, you may be sitting on an identity crisis issue that is just like a time bomb waiting to happen. All right. And so, but when you are able to answer all these questions, all right, in relation, in regards to your relationship, your age or whatever, you know, people now 40 and above, they have what they call midlife crisis. 
all right and mm. so midlife mm. and some teenagers mm. also have it when they are transitioning from you know being from childhood to teenagehood and all of that so when it happens mm. like that okay what do you do about it so it doesn't mean that maybe you're you're going not or anything when so many things are happening all right mm. who, how do you sort it and and on that you also touched on another area where i pinned on when you were you know trying to find that what to describe what the question should be another area where people should you know where people should pay attention to you were you were trying to describe what looked okay. like what we call work life balance where do you find that balance okay. you know between your emotional you know wellness and all the things that are happening your your identity your personality type the truth is once you have that harmony some people have come up with a school of thought have mm. come up to say that there's really nothing that is balanced in this world okay mm. there's really nothing that is balanced no in this world. It's like except no balance world. yes <laughs> it's like no balance so except the and the really <laughs> balancing part is that god god factor okay but the truth is probably yeah, yeah. what what we have resolved to say instead of just saying work life balance work life is just to say finding when you when they say work life balance it's not like you can have some form of harmony between your life okay your life mm -hmm. now what it used to be and what you want to be once you are able mm -hmm. to have that harmony once a part may be tilting more do you understand your career yeah. may be yeah. you know up there your finances may not be so much up there your marital you know uh, bliss may be very okay or maybe not so much on point your mm -hmm. parenting skills may yeah. not be so much but finding that harmony and how to have that balance that you want is what makes the difference okay people mm. now know that when you say that you are you are, you are a housewife for instance you're a full-time housewife and you're not even on any salary scheme or any yeah. family salary salary you know payroll something do you understand yeah how do you find that mm -hmm. balance you're an, you're an entrepreneur you are a student you know because you learn every day you're you're mm -hmm. a mom probably you're you may even be single and not even, you know, and be feeling like maybe marriage will complete you. No. All right. Yeah. Finding that harmony is what matters. Okay. Some of us mm. have, you know, been able to touch on the point where we know that if we're trying to be this and that, all, all these, you know, all these multitasking thing that they say, mm. the truth is you may not even be as productive as you want when That's you true. rely or when you say that you are multitasking. It's okay to do so many things at the same time. But when you focus the time, or one thing it helps you all right and then you mm -hmm. move you move you move you move that's that's way more than it sounds more productive you know and it even makes you more productive in real life because with research has you know come to show that okay that all of these things just need some form of harmony maybe you're trying so hard to be a mom to be a wife to be a, to be, even be a daughter you know even mm -hmm. if you're not married and you know that and you're still working yeah. all right yeah, or maybe yeah. you're working on your own personal project find what works you can outsource some parts okay just for your mental health sake and your emotional wellness mm -hmm. if you have to buy soup, mm -hmm. buy soup okay if you have to get it someone that will help you come and clean get it at the end of the day you're making the soup 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 uh, you the cook or the soup seller you're making the person happy by the little mm -hmm. profit that you're investing you're yeah, making yeah. the person who is coming to clean up also happy because you're putting the person in job you are also more happier and then your children at the end of the day the world is a better place because mm. you've been able to find that harmony and that's what helps your emotional wellness on the long run nobody wins a medal okay mm. for being the best workaholic in this world right no medal. there's no medal for the best hard working hard working this is productivity that we want to see right. and but what, right. what do we term productivity in this plan productivity is not just in maybe physical cash no productivity is when your life you know is just able to touch other people in ways that mm. you cannot explain that's a very high point for me that's even it because at the end of the day maybe when you're sensitive enough to just say thank you to someone you're sensitive enough to say please to say well done just to speak a word of encouragement to someone at the right time that is real humanity at play and so when when you find all of that you you see that your life has a new meaning okay right. moving from where you have been 
to where you ought to be. And then by the time you do all of that, it's like you have touched gold, all right? You have touched mm. gold. And, and, and I think that the life, your, the life you live will now start playing out before you. Because the truth is, as some, some people have this you know, crisis, maybe when they have a child or when they are even waiting, when they have experienced mm. any one traumatic event, when they are finding yeah. a marriage partner, after they mm. even find the partner, eh? You yes. see where they are, not even see balance. Eh? You see no balance, no. Very, very to abuse that. Do you understand? Yeah. So, at the end of the day, yeah. some people, are, as they are trying to get into a new relationship, maybe with their family or with their friends, or maybe finding marriage or, or some form of partnership, or experiencing, at the end of the day, it's, it's just a roller coaster. If you do not mm. find that balance within you, then you may yeah. not, you know, you, if you don't find that harmony, I like to use that word harmony, not necessarily, you may not necessarily be balanced on the scale of life. Mm. But just find yeah. that connecting point. The all right. Space, so that yeah. you know, mm. that, oh, this place must be balanced. It cannot, mm. because once you shift, if you have yeah. ever been in one place and you're looking forward and you're looking sideways at the same time, no. If you are forward, you are forward. If you are sideways, you are right. sideways. So at, the, at that point right. where you are forward and sideways, the angle will not be balanced now. Eh? True. So, so True. but you just find that harmony, something that will link it so that you are happy and then have time for yourself. All of these things also matter. People cannot overemphasize mm -hmm. the essence of self-care, self-love, and self all of this. Self-care, that's where we're the, going to. All of mm -hmm. them are coping strategies i hope that helps yeah, for that, yeah um, it does question. all right it does wow you i say each time i come out here and listen to the people that have um, been um touched or that have been impressed on to invite onto this show it's a huge blessing for me it it sometimes as if i'm doing this for me <laughs> As if I'm doing it, it's more it's like a therapy, whichever way it may be questions that have bothered me. I know there may be a couple of other people who would feel the same way, who would either be live here with us or who would touch it sometime later, who it would help. You know, so a lot of times as if it's just all for me. And like I can I can assure you that I've gleaned a lot. And by the time I get to listen to the whole conversation over and over again. It will speak more to me. Okay, so because of our time, we're going to be rounding off. We should actually have closed at two. And I remember you telling me you were, you were going to be busy and you might not stay until two. So I appreciate the time you put in to make sure that you dished out on all this information that you've given to us. God bless you, sis. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for Please, having me. Please, if you're still with me, I, I, I need you to appreciate this woman for me. I know that... Um, if we continue talking about the things that um, that relate to our personality and our emotional awareness, we will not run out. We will not run out of things to say, but we will run out of time. Okay, so um, I'd like for you, if you've been a part of this conversation, or if you get to listen or watch this video sometime later, to reach out to her. There are things to talk about. One of the things that stop people from reaching out to um, professional therapists is the fact that they feel that they do not want to open up. They, they have secrets that they don't want anybody to hear because sometimes people are afraid to be judged. They're afraid to, and sometimes when they even come to talk to a professional, you still see them hold back certain information because they're afraid that you're going to judge them based on, you know, something you hear about them. A lot of people also have this perfect personality that they believe they put out to the world and they don't want people to see them, you know, to see their downside. Okay, so, but... um. To reach out, you're doing yourself a whole world of good if you reach out to a professional therapist, help, coach, whatever name they go by. You're doing yourself a whole world of good. So please, if you're at a point in your life that you have questions, questions that you've tried to answer yourself, instead of giving yourself a headache, please look out for someone who has those answers. Sometimes I think our doctors need to do better because those days when I was in school that we did field practice in social work, I discovered that, okay, we're dispatched to do some, you know, work in, in hospitals. You discover that some people are in the hospital, they are sick, they are treating them, they're not getting better. Because their problem is not the physical health. Uh, it's more like emotional, mental, you know, and some other. And until a social worker or a therapist or a help comes along and identifies it, then, you know, the problem will now be <laughs> managed. 
Okay, so thank you so very much for coming on to discuss this topic with me. God bless you so much. And please, when we call on you again, do oblige us. <laughs> Thank you okay. so much and well done yeah, for all you do. Thank you. Right. Well done. Thank you thank for having you. me. Thank I do not think so much. Oh, thank you. We appreciate you more. God bless you. And may God receive you more next time, you know, <laughs> and um, to be able to reach out to more people. Okay, thank you all for being with me today. It's been an amazing one hour plus discussing with my guest. Um, if you get to see this video much later, um, please go on and enjoy yourself. Listen attentively to all she has to say. And if you do need the services of a therapist, especially an emotional wellness therapist, you might not even think you need. If you encounter any challenges at any point in your life at this time, if you feel you need somebody to talk to and everyone around you will judge you, people know your story and you, what you need is a neutral person to talk to, please reach out to Mrs. Oluron Care. Oluwalere. She's on Facebook as Oluronke Akiyemi Oluwalere. Please look for her, add her up, or send her a private message inbox and then she'll reach out to you. Do yourself a word of good. The world would be a better place if we all have our emotions in check. If we have our mental health stable, the world would be a better place. Thank you for being with me today. Next week, I'm having a special guest. I do not want to let the cat out of the bag, but in the course of the coming week, um, the flyers will be out on all my social media platforms. You get to see my guests. And somehow we're still going to tie next week's conversation to finding who you are. It's going to be something about purpose. Okay, so I've let out some of the cats. Okay, maybe cat's tail out of the bag. Okay, so it's going to be something on purpose. And I'm having a special guest coming to discuss with us on that topic and is going to do an amazing job as usual because all the people i've had come talk on this show have done amazingly well you know dissecting the topics that were given to them join me at the same time next week thursday by 1 p.m nigerian time thursday 1 p.m nigerian time on facebook live if you search for me and you don't find me type peace obuagu abaimu live on your search um search a uh, button type peace over a go a buy live and you'll find me very soon we're going to make it more easy for this conversation to flow because i'm going to be creating a page so you just go look for the page and follow and you will always find me god bless you for being a part of it today thank you for your time until i come your way again next week thursday it's me signing out from here peace <laughs>